What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Enkunku Rule Breakers card to review today. He's an SBC player, but this is a different kind of SBC, let's say. We've seen it last year and it is going to be a player pick. So you pretty much have the option of two Enkunkus and you can only pick one. One has way, way better passing and the other one has got way, way better shooting. So the passing difference from this card to the other card is a plus 19. Well, the difference between shooting to this card to the other card is a minus 10. So I honestly feel like it all matters where you're actually going to play this guy. I feel like if you're going to play him in a striker position, you might want to go for the shooting, you know, the one that's got the shooting boost, let's say. But everywhere else, like a cam, the center mid, the CDM position, I feel like the passing one is the way to go because if you're playing this guy in a cam position, you can go for a hunter chem style. If you're playing him in like a center mid or even CDM position, you go for the shadow chem style and you get absolutely outrageous, outrageous passing stats. So yeah, that is the mindset I pretty much have behind it. You only pick the other card if you want to play him striker. Other than that, you might as well go ahead and get this card. But look how good the stats look with a Shadow Chem style. We are giving him 97 acceleration and 94 sprint speed. The guy is absolutely rapid, especially for a midfielder. Now, the shooting stats, they're not looking bad. Obviously, as I said, they're not looking as good as the other one. But it's not that big of a deal if you're playing this guy in a center mid or even CDM position. Like 80 attacking positioning, 75 finishing, 80 shot power, and 77 long shots. I would say it's not more than enough, but it is perfectly fine. But look at the passing stat. This is how you're going to use this card, right? You're going to use him as like a really nice playmaker. And keep in mind, he has got four star skill moves and three star weak foot. I understand three star weak foot isn't anything crazy for passing in this game, but a four star skill moves creating little angles to go for those switches is always going to be nice to have. But yeah, look at the passing 93 vision, 93 crossing, 87 free galaxy, 95 short passing, 92 long passing, but a 93 curve as well. I'm expecting, by the way, some next. Bruno Fernandes kind of passing with this guy. Now his dribbling ability is also looking up there. He's got 90 agility, 88 balance, 86 reactions, 90 ball control, 90 dribbling with the 85 composure as well. And looking at the defending stats, keep in mind the shadow chem style has been applied. He has got 90 interceptions, 71 heading accuracy, 82 defensive awareness, 90 standing tackling and 92 slide tackling. So his defensive stats are definitely, definitely up there. And if we are looking at the physicals, it's looking okay. Nothing special about it. Like, at least he's got a decent amount of strength to his game. But the one thing that I do like to see there is the stamina. 86 stamina in a center mid role is very, is actually really, really nice to have. Now, the links, French, Bundesliga, and he also plays for Leipzig. So the links you can get with this guy is definitely up there. I've gone for the new N'Golo Kante, Mbappe, Dembele, and your boy Varane just to get him on full chemistry. Now the positions, I'm going to be playing this guy in three positions. The centre mid and CDM position with a shadow chem style applied, but halfway through this review, I will switch it to the hunter chem style and play him in a cam position in a 4-2-3-1. So let's get into the games. Just pass it down. RBA into his feet. There you go, take that touch, go for a ball roll. Few dribbles there, feeling decent on the ball there. Nice ball roll again. Cutting to the inside, go for it. It's going to be green and it's going to go into the back of the net. Keep in mind, he's got the shadow chem star applied on him. His shooting stats aren't even that great and he's doing those kind of stuff. Go for the ball roll there and Kunku sitting on the edge of the box. You can see how he feels on the ball, by the way. And keep in mind, the dribbling stats are the exact same with both cards. So both cards are going to feel exactly like this. Like, look how agile he looks. Can I get that? No, I cannot. He just couldn't reach that, though. Give it forward. Nice. Well played. Falamendi, can you play that wide ball into the middle? Yes, you can. We're going to go for that ball roll and we're going to go for that pass. And you best believe it's going to work out perfectly. Dembele not taking, by the way, the greatest of touches. And that center back is going to catch up to us. But the pass, immaculate. Is he going to go all the way down? Oh, no, he is not. We're going to intercept it right into the middle. That was really nice from Nkunku. They get back into position really quickly and actually intercept that ball. Nkunku, get out to him, bro. There you go. You see how quick he was out to him there? Come on. Ball roll this. Pass it up. Is he going to make a run? He isn't, but we're going to go for a perfect one, two. Phil Foden, there's no way you fall over after. Like, what is this? We had a guaranteed goal there. Just pass it back. There you go. Just reset the play. 
Nice, good footwork. No, he's not going to have strength, though, to kind of hold off Trent there. That's why someone like Fofana would be really, really useful because you know he's got the strength to hold off anyone. Is he going to try to go around the edge of the box? He is, and Kunkel's there. Keep it calm. Go for a few dribbles. Nice footwork. Ball roll it and just switch the play. That was just a normal X ball. Even his other card with like 77 long passing, he can pretty much do that. But it was a good interception by him. Going to see if I can maybe just run forward. That's an amazing ball roll, by the way. I see that over top. Down the line. All the way over to Dembele. He's going to be able to do it. I tried it. I don't know why I tried it. Like, you can clearly see my opponent was trying to cover that situation right there. And he did it pretty well, to be fair to him. But the pass from Nkunku all the way to the other side, I can already tell. That is something he's going to be doing all day long. That's green times. That's close. That is very close. It's a good pass through the middle. Stay on him. Just keep keep going. There you go. There's the slide tackle that we was looking for. Can we get a go off this? That's a perfect pass. Foden. No way, Foden. Oh, it was offside. Either way, good slide tackle from Nkunku. Is he going to try to kick off us? Nah, come on. Yeah, there you go. Get straight in there. This is the thing, right? His slide tackling stat with the Shadow Chem stole is insanely high. So you know those kind of slide tackles, they're going to be perfect. Can we score off this? Mbappe. That was rude. Surely he's going to pass back down. Now, where is he going to pass back down to? And Kunkel, get out to him. There you go. Good interception. Not interception, sorry. Good tackle. I like how he got out to the player really quickly. I was controlling him for a good amount of time there. But last second, I did switch off him because I didn't think he was going to get there. But he did. Just pass it down quickly. There you go. There's an LBY opportunity all the way to the top. Bro, look how good that pass is. Honestly, it reminds me of like a KDB Bruno Fernandes kind of pass. Antonio, he finishes it. Surely he doesn't pass through the middle. He is Nkunku. You are there. You put on that pressure. Well played. And you do come out with a ball. We'll roll away from him. Nice turn. Do you see how good he is at dribbling? Honestly, like having this guy in the midfield with that kind of dribbling is really, really good to have. Because it's very unexpected. Because you can just pull out like a quick turn. And your opponent will be pretty much baffled, let's say. Is he going to go up? No, surely, right? Yeah, I was about to say. Surely I intercept that. I cut it perfectly. And obviously with the high interceptions Nkunku has. He's going to intercept it. And I do see a switch there. So I might as well go for it. Oh my God. Look at that ball. Nah, come on, Telis. You're going to ruin that pass. Come on. Let me have that one. Covered that middle. Nice. Once again, man. He's just insanely fast in the midfield. Like insanely, insanely fast. I would say though, his transition from moving left to right, it's not as good as N'Golo Kante's, but it definitely is still good enough to be a midfielder. Intercept it. Nice and Kunku, well played. By the way, we have moved him into the cam position now, and we have actually applied the Hunter Chem style to him now. So we're gonna see how he's gonna do inside the box. Keep in mind, this is obviously the card that hasn't got better shooting stats, but the Hunter Chem style still gives him some nice shooting. It still gives him like 85 finishing with like 85 shot power. Pass it into the middle there. We'll roll away from him. I could go for that pass, but I'm gonna trust in his pace, and we're gonna give this a go. Come on, please. It wasn't the cleanest of goals, but I will take it. Pass that up to N'Golo. Give it to Nkunku now. He takes not so great of a touch, but we're going to use this pace. Keep it going. It's nice. Smack it inside. That's beautiful, man. That is absolutely beautiful. The roulette, by the way, was needed. It was so easy to create the angle there. Would have roulette so we can just go for that across goal finish. Double way into Antonio. Now I want to see. He's going to make that aggressive run. And he does really well. We go for the finesse shot. And it's going to go way, way over. Maybe I should have just gone for a power shot there. There probably wasn't a need to go for the finesse shot. But that aggressive run by him was really nice. Because he instantly noticed where the gap actually was. Antonio, pass it down. Oh my god. Gomez, bro. You need to relax on that reach. But Nkunku, once again, making an aggressive run. We go for a cross goal finish. I'm not sure if he moved the keeper there because I wasn't really looking out to it, but it seemed like he did a little bit. Just go for a dummy Dembele or not. That didn't really seem like a dummy. Pass into the inside early. What a touch. Green. Can I? It was a not so great angle, but we actually do get the goal. I'll take it, man. So it is time to review and we ended up playing four games with Nkunku. We walked away with three goals. One of the goals actually coming from when I was using the Shadow Chemist on him and not the Hunter Chemist on. And that's the thing, right? If you're thinking of playing this guy in a centimid and CDM position, which is where I personally would play him, 
He's got decent shooting stats. You can give it a go time to time. I gave it a go. I green timed it. It was a finesse shot and it flew into the back of the net. So honestly, I believe this card is the way to go. I really do. Like the shooting, the shooting boost on the other card, it's nice to have. But it's not worth having minus 19 short passing and having minus 19 long passing. Like on the other card, you are literally having 76 short passing and 73 long passing. If you think you're playing this guy in a center bit and CDM position, that passing stat is definitely, definitely not enough. So yeah, I personally feel like if you are thinking you're playing this guy in a CDM, center mid or even cam position, I feel like this card is the way to go. But... If you are thinking of playing maybe in a strike position, you might want to go for the other card. So his shooting stat is way, way better. Because in a striker position, you're not going to need 95 short passing. You're not going to need 92 long passing. All you need is the 76 short passing and the 73 long passing. So yeah, this card in a cam, center mid or CDM position. The other card in a strike position. It's simple as that. Honestly, the only bad thing I would say about this card was the strength and aggression. That's literally it. Straight up. Like... The strength and aggression, I could tell he was one of those players that was trying to fight for the ball a decent amount, but he didn't have enough strength on him, let's say, to kind of push that player off the ball. So yeah, strength and aggression is the only questionable thing. Other than that, he's amazing. He really is. Shadow chem style, center mid, CDM position, the way to go. Cam position, I would personally go for the hunter chem style, but a price, 100 than 60,000 coins. It's a good amount of coins. I must admit, it really, really is. But the thing is, right, he can play multiple positions really well. Really, really well. So I do believe it is worth it. Once again, man, go for this card. It is 100% the way to go you'll be much more happier with this card than the other card because you can guarantee yourself if you pass this guy the ball he's not gonna screw up a pass but i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace